Hey friends, Tim Whalen here from Whalen Jazz Lessons. Today is kind of a part two video of um, something I did a few weeks ago. This is three classic two five one lines in a minor key, all using bebop language. Uh, just like the last video, um, these lines are packed with vocabulary, different concepts, and if you learn them and take them apart and transpose them, you're gonna get a lot of benefit of just adding great minor language to your playing. And stick around because in a little bit, I'll show you a great practice technique that I touched on on the last video uh, that really will help you bring these things to life and help you internalize them and digest them and absorb them into your own vocabulary. If you'd like a free PDF of these licks in all 12 keys, click the link in the description below and uh, let it fly to your inbox and be yours to enjoy and digest. Let's quickly talk about the difference between a 2-5-1 in a major key and a 2-5-1 in a minor key. If we're in major, C major, okay, the two chord is a minor seven. The five is a dominant. In its basic form, it's completely unaltered, no altered tensions, but you can have alterations. And then a major, one chord. Two minor seven, five dominant seven, one major seven. In a minor key, the two chord is a half diminished chord. To a five altered chord, to a one minor, major seven, minor six, nine, minor six. It can be a minor seven, but in its most basic foundation form, the one, the tonic chord in a minor key is minor major seven or minor six, okay? Two half diminished, five altered, one minor major seven, one minor six. Okay, that's the difference, major. Minor. Okay, let's dig in. Lick number one, this is an F minor. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. That's, that's some Barry Harris. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Got a G half diminished, C7, flat nine, flat 13. We'll just say altered in F minor, F minor six. I'm just gonna say F minor, but you know what I mean, okay? So right now we have this essentially, remember when we're learning these licks, not only are you learning vocabulary, you're learning what, um, uh, what things are being implemented, what concepts, what musical elements, you know, arpeggios, enclosures, rhythmic stuff. Right away, we're starting on the root. We're doing a chromatic approach down, and then we have this. It's a B flat minor triad. Now this is cool because there's B flat minor. The bebop musicians didn't really call this a half diminished chord. They called it a minor chord with a six in the bass. So it makes a lot of sense that he would play this B flat minor triad. B flat minor with G in the bass. Minor with a six in the bass. Because if you look at G half diminished, that is a B flat minor triad the six in the bass. One flat three flat five flat seven. So we got and then we move into this very common little triplet ornamentation. We'd start on the sharp nine of C and do half steps all the way down. We basically go flat seven flat thirteen and then major third sharp nine flat nine. That's a great line. 
And then on the minor, we have this little, we're basically outlining uh, a major arpeggio starting on the five, which gives us the fifth, the major seventh, and the nine. Very common. And then we're basically outlining a minor major seven chord with, it's inverted because the seventh is here. And it's also just approaching the root. Look. And then we got this nice little, we're kind of enclosing the root here. Flat seven, major seven, two, major seven, one, and then down to the six. So we got a triad, little ornamentation, and then G minor. How about one more? Let's do uh, C minor. That's a great one. Back to F. Okay, lick number two will be in C minor. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. That's great. So starting out, we have this D half diminished, but it's, it's basically just uh, running the arpeggio of the seventh chord. Flat seven, one, flat three, flat, fly, flat five and then just down the scale. Then it's anticipating that sharp nine of G7. Nice ornamentation, this is very common. Flat nine, sharp nine, down to the root. I mean, that's everywhere. And then we're just playing the minor, the, the five, seven in a minor key bebop scale. Got the half step. And then we really just have this nice little ornamentation and closure around the third. Two, you know, flat three to major third four. We're really just going two, four to the flat three, but we add this triplet. And then down to the major seven, we're just enclosing around the root. That's beautiful. One, two, three, four. Let's try uh, key F. How about key of, let's try D minor. That's great. G minor, two, three, four. Beautiful. Lick number three. Check this out. One, mm, mm. That's great. Uh, uh, uh. So this is great. So we got a little anticipation. It's going from the flat six down to the flat five. And then we basically have pivoting. We've got, but he's going, well, I'm going. Basically a pivot. Because this is uh, implying kind of F minor. Remember F minor is related to D half diminished with a six in the bass. Also that makes B flat seven indirectly kind of related to D half diminished, but you don't really have to get too into that now, but we got this basic pivot, then down the scale. And then this is a beautiful little uh, resolution to the fifth. We go third and then flat nine, and then an enclosure up to the 
to the fifth of C, but it's basically flat nine around the root. Augmented triad. Know your triads, everybody. That's a great little movement there. And then we got this ornamentation triplet. We're really just going two major seven, two to the one, but we're adding in this triplet to give some interest of all half steps. Up the scale, and then that's a real common going one, two, three, four, five, three, two, one. And then little Sonny Clark there. One, two, three. Let's try the key of F. I'm gonna pick a key that's hard for me and I might stumble a little bit on it. Let's try E minor and then you can see me kind of work my way through it. <laughs> of course, now I did it. Oh, right there. So this is what's giving me trouble. My fingers just aren't used to that movement. Ah. One, two, three. Okay, I would encourage you to check out my last video about this. It's, it's up here um, and it shows uh, some things more in action, but I just want to kind of recap. Learn each phrase in every key. Learn the whole two, five, one. Learn it in two hands if you're a piano player. Maybe break, break up the octave into two octaves and learn the line in both hands. Play it with some shell voicings. Pianists, try to find any way that you can work on it. Find some rootless voicings to play the lines with, okay? Then I would break it down as a second step. Break it down and play the line for each chord through all the keys. Play the lines for all the half diminished through the keys. Play the line for the five chord through the keys. Or maybe play the line for the half diminished and then stop on the root of the five chord as a destination and then do the same. And then from the five, play the five line, stop on the first line of the first note of the next chord and take those through the keys and then play the one chord through the keys as well. Um, you could even break them up into smaller bits. Maybe you just play the triads that you see or the little ornamentations, you know, like uh, uh, example one. Maybe just work on just working on that. Right? So you can just see those in context, right? Um, th that's another way to do it. The last way is the runway method. And I'm, I'm not gonna get into that here. You can look at that last video, but essentially what it is is whatever vocabulary, let's say you wanna work on getting into a five chord. Take, take, the, take one of the lines on the five chords from one of these. That's your destination. You're gonna play that line. But in the context of the two five one, play your own vocabulary on the two chord and smoothly resolve stepwise into the runway, which is the lick on the five chord, and then take back off into the one chord using your own vocabulary. If this is the vocabulary, you wanna land smoothly into it, play the vocabulary, and then resolve smoothly out of it playing your own vocabulary. The runway method has helped me immensely in internalizing vocabulary. So that's it. Three two five ones in minor using bebop language. Definitely click below and grab the free PDF. These are, all three of these are in all 12 keys and they're yours. So I really hope this was helpful. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, of course I would appreciate it, even a thumbs up. And uh, I will see you in the next video and happy practicing.